So Fry's have invited us, Bianca and I, to try out some uh, amazing Fry's meals by the amazing Chef Jay and his team at Kind Kitchen. Uh, one of my favorite restaurants in Cape Town. <laughs> well, I'm excited too. Um, I'm not a vegan. Okay, I eat everything. Um, okay, very interested and excited to try the Fry's products and, and see what old Jay back there has done with them. So, looking forward to that. Fry's asked me to showcase four different things to you guys today. Uh, their new um, gluten-free rice and chia chicken nuggets. <laughs> We bake them off, put them into rice paper rolls with some Julian rainbow carrots, some Julian uh, cucumber sticks, some sprouts as well, some avocado, edible flowers, and baby greens. Let's do this thing. Mm. It does mm. actually taste like chicken, I have to admit. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. That's quite an amazing thing. Honestly, I don't think, if I showed this to my, my, my family, they would know this isn't chicken. They're like. And I was actually quite surprised by that. I, was, I wasn't expecting this to taste like chicken. Um, well, I don't know what I was actually expecting um, in terms of what it was going to taste like, but I'm pleasantly surprised in any of it, so. We've got pea protein mince from Fry's. Um, again, another step up from the previous iteration of their mince, which was good, but this is kick-ass, I like it. Um, so we've got loaded mincy fries with some beetroot and our homemade cheese sauce. So that's Kutan style dish. On the right hand side we've got our good old Mexican nachos uh, baked in the oven very quickly and then adding the mince to that, adding our cashew cream, adding our beetroot cashew cream, guacamole in the center and a little bit of chopped up um, cucumber tomato salsa. Pea protein mince is a first for me, so here goes. This is so good. Is this up. is so good. I think that pretty much says it all. I think you should just take that shot. <laughs> well, so far, I'm impressed. I really am. Next up, we've got mini chipolatas from Fry's. Another new one in their uh, stable. Uh, so these are like smoky uh, chipolata style uh, pork bangers, I guess, that I've uh, put into um, Taiwanese street food. So that's the bao buns. And we've cooked them up with some onion, garlic, ginger, and plum sauce. How, how does it taste? It actually tastes flipping good. Can you see the surprise on my face? This was the one that I was actually the most skeptical about. Mm. Chipolata, come on. It's a, it's a sausage and it's a chipolata, but just tasting that little piece on its own, it's a, it's, I think it's a good way for people to get into doing a, a vegan or plant-based lifestyle with, some, with these kind of products. And if you buy these, it just goes to show how versatile they are. It's probably good to have these in the freezer. I can't get over how good these sausages are. They are actually really good. All right, so this is the flagship at the moment, the Big Fry Burger Patty, 22 grams almost. Yep, 20. 21.8, that's pretty impressive. But what I've done is made you a classic style um, cheese and bacon burger with some kale slaw on the bottom. Um, then we've give you, given you some caramelized barbecue onions, um, some shredded lettuce and pickles, obviously cheese on top of the patty. And on the top, um, I was gonna give you seitan bacon, which we make here, but I thought today, let's give you some carrot bacon. Oh, this is probably my favorite fries product. This is the Big Fry Burger, and it is the most meat-like. It is so juicy. It is so impressive to take to a fry. My mouth is watering so much. Oh, here it goes. I'd be quite happy to, to eat completely fully vegan food anytime, if it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish our burgers.